Advancements and setbacks. The 1940s proved to be a crucial time in the history of the end card. In 1941, with the world in turmoil, Dr. Von Hoop's successors set their sights on the holy grail of ID science. It had long been theorized, but never proven, that an ID card could also provide discounts for common purchases, such as going to the movies. Early experiments by Von Hoop's associates proved futile and sometimes disastrous. The university almost shut down the Von Hoop laboratory for good after a series of fires in 1942 and an explosion in 1943 that destroyed two campus buildings, injuring nine. Enter Professor of Physics, Dr. Quincy Teat. Through a complex mathematical formula, now commonly known as Teat's Law, Dr. Teat was able to prove, once and for all, that discounts were, in fact, attainable. Eight months later, the H card was introduced. Not content to rest on this lifetime achievement, Dr. Teat and his team ventured into uncharted territory. In the late 40s and early 50s, Dr. Teat's team experimented with nuclear technology and the use of plutonium power cells. While these experiments led to some beneficial advancements, such as the ability for a cardholder to use campus rec centers or to attend homecoming events, the sterilizing effect of the radiation ultimately proved too high a cost. Hence, Teat and his team were forced to rethink the future of ID cards, and with the space age nearing, they would have a whole new realm of scientific advances at their disposal.